Quality standards for requirements define a number of criteria, among which some are particularly difficult to achieve. For instance, there should be no missing requirements. But if you just use plain text to write the requirements, how can you make sure you did not forget anything? Let's see how this challenge is met using stimulus. We'll use, as an example, a headlight controller with an automatic mode which turns on the headlights when the ambient light intensity drops below a certain threshold and turns them off when it is above another threshold. Hysteresis is used to avoid unwanted flickering behavior. Here are five requirements describing the expected behavior of the controller. One for the mode on, one for the mode off, and three for the automatic mode. How can you check if this specification is correct? Let's test it. In stimulus, we use a block diagram to define a test environment. The blue box is the system under test. Let's drag and drop the specification V1. This green box constrains the generation of the switch input. We want to observe the behavior in the automatic mode, so the constraint is simple. Switch equals auto. This other green box constrains the generation of the input light intensity. We'll use the following scenario. Light intensity is a percentage, and we limit the speed at which it can evolve. We also use a state machine to define a sequence. We initialize the light intensity. Then, we choose a target. If the light intensity is lower than the target, we make it increase until it reaches the target. Then, we choose another target, and we restart. Let's see how Stimulus will use this set of constraints to generate numerous test cases automatically. Let's click on the Play button. Let's generate a test vector of 500 cycles. You can see the light intensity going up, it reaches the target, then another target is chosen. If you zoom in, you can see that the speed at which light intensity increases is not deterministic but remains within the constraints that have been defined. Having non-deterministic use cases enables stimulus to generate as many test vectors as you like. Let's generate 10 in one shot. This unique feature enables you to explore the envelope of the possible behaviors of your functional specifications. Stimulus-generated test vectors can be exported to CSV so as to be reused in your testing environments. Let's test the specification V1. What can we observe? At the beginning, light intensity is low, the headlights are on. Stimulus shows which requirement is active. When the light intensity is over 60%, another requirement becomes active. So far, so good. However, as soon as we're above 70%, none of the requirements is active. The output is free, and the headlights are blinking. Eventually, after three seconds, another requirement applies and the headlights are off. When the light intensity goes down under 60%, we have the same phenomenon. The dotted lines in stimulus help us identify the situations where we might have missing requirements. Let's correct the specification. The expected behavior is, after we get out of the hysteresis zone, the controller must change the headlight within a certain delay, but after the change, it must not change anymore. This is the requirement added in the version 2. Let's test the V2. We drag and drop the V2 into the blue box. We push the play button again. The blinking problem has vanished. Stimulus helped us remove the specification whole. Try Stimulus.